In 2016, a teenage girl was convicted of involuntary manslaughter based on statements and text messages encouraging her boyfriend's suicide. In Commonwealth v. Carter, a Massachusetts court considered the unprecedented and highly controversial question of whether a homicide conviction may be based on words alone. In 2012, Michelle Carter and Conrad Roy began a long-distance relationship. During frequent calls and texts, the couple discussed Roy's mental health and suicidal ideations. Roy initiated suicide multiple times, but ultimately sought medical intervention or abandoned each attempt. Carter initially implored Roy to get help, but he refused. In 2014, Carter began helping Roy plan his suicide. She dismissed Roy's concerns that his death might devastate his family and berated his delays, insisting that he promised to kill himself. On July 12, Roy rigged a gas-powered water pump to his truck, got inside, and called Carter as the truck filled with carbon monoxide. Carter texted her friend that she heard moaning, but that Roy wouldn't respond. After 20 minutes, Carter texted that she believed Roy had killed himself. The next day, Roy's body was discovered in his truck. Carter later texted her friend that as the carbon monoxide took effect, Roy became frightened and left the truck, but she told him to get back in because she knew he wanted to die. Carter was charged with involuntary manslaughter. At a bench trial, the judge found Carter guilty, ruling that her wanton and reckless conduct caused Roy's death. Carter appealed to the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court, claiming insufficient evidence and violations of due process and free speech.